Man, yo, Curtis shows off a brand new tattoo, and it's like some opium label tattoo, and man, I'm not going to even cap to you, that does not even look like the like Cardi skin tone, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's definitely some light skin skin tone, but yeah, I can't even lie, the opium logo is definitely pretty hard, and it's a six side six side death's new op oh, okay so it's six sides her sex sides death's new opium tattoo it makes a lot more sense maybe this will somehow you know just give us a release date for music because he's just been teasing it since last year since this whole domestic violence situation you know what i mean like almost like one year since uh no, two years since uh, a whole lot of red. You know what I mean? But yeah, this guy looks like... I don't even know. I don't even know if this is a dude or a guy. You know what I mean? It's really, really interesting. Man, I think this is definitely a dude. He's got like he's got like a beard right there, man. But he's got some high heels on, so it's a little bit... A little bit sus. You know what I mean? I feel a little bit sus, but... I don't know, I'm just ready for Cardi to just drop some music, man. Like, recently his single Killers, or like it was supposed to be the lead single for music, ended up leaking on YouTube, and the leakers ended up doing an interview with Money Mace, Stealthy the Goat, then Bob Lem as well, and just hearing the whole process of the song potentially being the lead single to music and just the whole behind the scenes of how leaks work in the music industry was just super fascinating to me you know what i mean and there has been rumors that that leak actually pushed back the project and even the tour as well but you know what i mean like i heard that ken carson was supposed to drop very very soon at some point in the summer but there just wasn't enough engagement with uh, you know, just a hype for a great chaos. And King Carson slated to probably drop around October 13th, I believe. Friday the 13th in October, so. Maybe we'll get music before that or after that. But what I predicted before was he's probably not gonna drop anything until 2024. And something else that I really thought Cardi should do is man i wouldn't be surprised if he just like retires he already has like a cult cult like fan base you know what i mean just like the strongest fan base everybody on the ground wants to have the same aesthetic as him everybody wants to be cardi i think he should just retire you know what i mean with the label you know just keep his legacy alive because i truly believe his next project is not going to be better than a whole lot of red because after hearing that leak killers it just sounds like future honestly you know what i mean like it's still it's still a fire leak and everything like that but i don't think it's possible for him to outdo himself compared to his last project a whole lot of red it was just how amazing a whole lot of red was you know what i mean like first listening when i heard the project i knew it was going to be a classic but a lot of people at the time just wasn't even feeling the project. They're like, oh man, this is way too experimental. But I always thought it was pretty fire. You know what I mean? So, I read on Twitter last night, somehow these tattoos indicate the, the release date to his brand new project music. And I just don't really see it. Like, I just don't really see how this could correlate to... Um, the release date to his brand new project music I just it's just not really possible in my opinion but I'm definitely here for some new Cardi and like I said I think he's retired but I wouldn't complain if he dropped another project but if we're talking about straight up legacy I'd probably pull a Frank Ocean and just probably never drop again you know what I mean I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep it real I'm just keep it a stack